I have emerged from the Old Foxen Park estate. Over there you've got Pinkley Point. I'm not spending a lot of time. It's very faint. It's quite hazy over there, but uh, over there somewhere is um, Pinkley Point. So what we're doing, a oh, fox and house and park is down there. This burning is what they do carry out. There's a special name for it. Some sort of to do with the main maintenance. I don't know. Now there is a way up there that you can go. But I'm not doing that one. I'm not going straight up. I'm going up the next one. Okay, uh, the one that goes near the plantation. Um, the, the, the one that goes near the, yeah, plantation of trees, memorial trees. So anyway, I've made it up the hill. I've just had a lovely juicy fat orange, which was lovely. Well, it was a tangerine or a clementine. It wasn't a big, um, big orange. It wasn't a Jaffa, I'll put it that way. Well, I just thought, yeah, have a bit of an orange. I've got another one as well. It's hotter than you think, but we've got that lovely wind now. And look at the scene back there. And I've walked all over there, by the way, in the past. I've done it all. I've done it all, everyone. I love it. I love it. Well, like I said, we don't get out here till we... You're not up to 12 hour past because the bus, um, I, I could have got a, an earlier bus, but then I'd have to pay full price for the train, you see, which I, so I thought, God, I ain't paying that. I did it once, one year, cost us loads of money. I only pay 6 95 return at the moment. There's the plantation, it looks a bit withered. They did plant some more, they're memorial trees of people who fought in the war. I've just got to remember which way up I go. I mean, I always forget, see? There's a way straight up there, which you can do, or you can go up another one. I always get muddled up. Straight ahead, that's the Downsborough Hill Fort, right over there, which I did last year. I walked round it and down it, down that path you can see. I walked down that. That was one of the walks last year. I also did the hair, higher hair naps. Now, what I've got to do is decide, I think I go up there. But I'm just going to check if there's another path because I always forget. I always forget. Now you don't want to go down there because I remember when I went down there I ended up going down back into the coom. So there we go, lovely view. So we've now got quite a steep climb and even though you, you get up there you think that's the end of it, it ain't. So I'm not coming back on now until I'm at the top of there. It's going to be Roman steps, Roman marching for me to get up there. Over and out. Hinkley Point. Drilling rig there. Hinkley Point. Downsborough Hill Fort. Higher hair nap and lower hair nap. That I walk a lot. I do them. And I go up through those combs. I can't remember the first comb anymore. I've forgotten it. It's just gone out of my mind at the moment. This comb here. But then you've got a slaughterhouse comb. Which we used to call, when we were kids, we used to call it Holford Glen. But Holford Glen apparently is down there where the Huguenots are. But we always called that Holford Glen because it was so pretty. So I don't know what it'd be like the video. I'm trying to keep it still. I've got the sun right in front of me. But I've got my hat on. That will save me. And uh, 
I'm feeling all right. I did some Roman steps to get me up the steep bit and I seem to have done it quite well. I struggled up that before now. I didn't seem to struggle. I might sound breathless, but I always do. Um, but I'm not hot and I'm not cold. I am a bit hot. So if I'd kept on the top track, I could have kept cooler because of the wind. But uh, I quite like doing this one. I can see down in the glen, down in the coombs, where I walked earlier. I walked up in these coombs earlier and came up up there. What I'm doing now, I'm walking around Lady's Edge and uh, so I get to pick Noller Post again. Now I've videoed this loads of times everyone. You can see the path. There's two paths actually. There's the one I would have been on if I kept up there. It might be quicker than doing this one's going to do more weaving about and that one's going straight. So you can always cross over to the other one if you felt like it but I think I'll stay on this one I haven't checked the time I don't want to I'm scared to um, it's a long way back yet so I think it'll be a late homecoming uh, I think so I think I've only ever got a quarter six o'clock bus or half past six bus once. Um, then they go hourly, if not two hourly, see? So I forgot to bring the timetable with me. Stupid me. <laughs> I didn't put it in my bag. I've got it all printed out. <clears throat> once I had to do a big detour because there was a massive herd of cows here. Great big beef cattle. I shall stop a minute and admire this view, everyone. Isn't it gorgeous, eh? This is my beautiful Holford. This is a place I love and think about. And love. Well, I'm going to turn oh, up for a little while. Take right, okay, I've, got, I've turned it back on again for some reason. <laughs> um, I'm going to turn it off. This is Sheila on the Quantock Hills on the 7th of May 2023. I left home at 9 o'clock this morning, got the 29 min uh, 28 minutes past 9 train, got the 7 minutes past 10 bus, and arrived in Bicknoller about 20 to 11. Then I had the steep ascent up Bicknoller Coombe, or hill, whatever you want to call it. And then I joined on a, a track to take me to Bick Noller Post, a big junction point for lots of different directions. I then went down and down and down into the Coombe, Shepherd's Coombe, leading up to Hodger's Coombe and the Fords. And from there down to crossing the little streams, not very full at this time of year. See, there's the, a link back, if you want to do the top one shell, you can always climb back up. I don't know which is quicker. Now that's the top one just linking up there. I'm going to stay on this one. I don't know if it's quicker. I don't like to think about the timing of stuff. I hate it, it ruins the walk. And I have to keep worrying about the time all the time. The only reason I'm eased up a bit is there are more buses, apparently. But there aren't necessarily more trains. Do you know what I mean? And there's bigger gaps. And there's roughly a train every hour. So, I might get home late tonight. What's up? It's worth it though, isn't it? It's worth it. We're still climbing, by the way, a little bit. Um, of course, the other path is just on the ridge there. It's not far away. 
if you I was on that path I'd be able to see the other side down to um, Smith's Coombe and I'd be able to see the trig point and all that if I was up there but I thought it'd be nice to do this one do that one another time over and out now for a minute do a little bit more video on the Ladies Edge track I can feel that breeze and it's very welcoming now it's really really welcoming um, yeah it's good yeah I'm glad I've done this one I could have done the top one and seen over the other side but I thought no you don't always do this one so do this one Sheila you do quite often do this one I know I don't always do it the other way around though do I have you noticed that no you don't actually Look at it, getting greener and greener, but it could be scorched brown and blonde. It could be, if there's a heat wave. Of course the track, if you go down there, you'll pick up the track that I was on earlier and it curves round like that. And we'll meet, we'll meet that track. It's going that way and I'm going this way. Not a sign of any cows today. What's happening in the world? Let's just see. The French tennis competition's on. Um, oh yeah, Russia, they say, has um, caused a big dam in the Ukraine to to flood. It's quite significant, apparently. Well, it's terrible. Apparently it's a massive dam that they bombed or detonated. I don't know, I think they're denying it and say the Ukrainians have done it themselves. So who knows what to believe anymore, really. <sighs> that is not, they're trying to get more weapons, but they shouldn't be doing things like that, should they? Because that would turn people against them if they're bombing themselves. Do you know what I mean? I'm hobbling a bit, I've got something rubbing against my little toe not the bottom not, not the tip of it but um, on the side something's got in I think a little stone or something I've had it now for since some um, I noticed it after leaving Hulford oh, Green I think a little bit of rubbing going on there there's not a lot I can do at the moment I'm not stopping until I get to bitten on a post <sighs> Beautiful, isn't it? Look at this land. This is my land. This is my land. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! I can hear the cuckoo. Same place as what it was before. It must come back to the same place down there somewhere. Cuckoo! Yeah, didn't hear it when we were down there this morning. It's quite loud. It was very persistent. I've got a cuckoo clock. Right, I'm turning right, off again. The last section now, leading down to Bicknell Post. One more quick. Look, there's Dobra Hill Fort. I've just weaved my way right round that hill there. Here's all the coombs emerging and the, the streams coming down through them. Big tracks leading over to um, Triscombe and all those sort of areas. And just down here is Bicknola Post. Two people there. See two people rambling about there. I might have bumped into them earlier actually. Two blokes. Yeah, I just thought I'd do this bit just down to the post unless those two men start coming this way. They actually are turning, I think. Like I say, bit not a post is the junction point. 
Yeah, I think I met them too earlier. somebody at the post. There we go, they're going down where I went earlier, down to Holford. So I came out there, they're going down where I went, over and out.